Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in lymphedema and cancer. Today in this video, we're gonna go step-by-step -step on how to apply kinesiology tape to the breast and the chest area for swelling and lymphedema. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram and you can check out our website for more resources and content. So how do we use kinesiology tape for swelling of the breast and the chest? Well, it can be a great option for swelling. The other things are manual lymphatic drainage, which I have another video and I'll link that up above on how to do lymphatic drainage for the breast and the chest. You can also try something like a compression bra. These are some of my favorites from Prairie Wear. This is a very full coverage one for moderate to severe swelling. And they also have a more low profile version for more mild to moderate swelling. And along with that, there are things like swell spots that help soften that dense fibrotic hardened tissue that we can put in the bra as well. So if you wanna learn more about these products, um, I will link some of them down below. I also have more information on my website um, under the product section that you can check out. But kinesiology tape is another option. Um, it will work really well for more mild swelling. If someone has severe swelling and really fibrotic hard tissue, you definitely want something else on board without just the kinesiology tape by itself. But again, great another option to help reduce swelling and reduce pain. So what are you gonna need? You're going to need a roll of kinesiology tape. This is a more professional brand. I've also tried a couple of cheaper brands um, and I feel like they work very well. So I will link all of those down below that you can check out. They also make pre-cut strips. Um, they're usually about this length. Um, I don't prefer them because everyone's a different size and we're really using various lengths as we do this. So I prefer just to get the roll. Um, and then you also need good scissors as well. And that is all you're gonna need. You wanna make sure that you have no lotions, um, moisturizers, creams, oils, anything that on your skin, you wanna make sure that it is fully dry and clean so that the adhesives of the tape stick really well. Before you begin, you also wanna make sure that you test out a strip on your skin to make sure that you don't have any allergic reactions or irritation from the adhesives of the tape. You also make sure you don't wanna have any open wounds, open skin, fragile skin. You don't wanna do this right after radiation where the skin might be really irritated. And you don't wanna do it over an area that has active cancer. And lastly, before we get into it, let's talk about how this actually works. How is this gonna work? Well, when the tape is put on your skin in a specific way, it's going to help lift up the skin, which allows for more space underneath the skin. That changes the pressure gradient in the tissues and in the skin area, and that will help push fluid into lymphatic vessels to then move out of that area to help decongest and move fluid. The tape should be applied directly to the skin. I'm gonna be applying it over the clothes for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna be showing this in two different ways. The first way I'm gonna be showing if someone had lymph nodes removed for cancer surgery, they've had radiation and they have a dysfunction in that area or that armpit, we wanna get the fluid moving to other parts of the body. So I'm gonna be showing how to apply the kinesiology tape that way. And then the other way I'm gonna be showing if someone has a healthy lymphatic system, has not had surgery to the lymph nodes and they're just trying to get swelling or you know general post-op swelling um, or maybe even their breastfeeding and they're trying to move some fluid. I'm gonna be showing how to do it that way as well. So we'll go into the first one. We're going to do how to place it for lymph nodes removed. So I have cut two strips. We wanna take strips that lengthen out to get the fluid moving from one side of the breast all the way over to the armpit on the other side. And so you don't have a lot of tension when you place the tape. So you're really measuring about equal and everyone's swelling is gonna be in a different area. And so if someone has more swelling up top, the, the strip is gonna be placed up top. If someone, someone's swelling is down lower, we're actually gonna have it more at a diagonal. So you might have to change that. Everyone has a different size and shape as well. Some may have had a mastectomy, um, and so they'll just go straight across. Some may have a reconstruction, and so they're gonna go up and over the breast. Whatever someone's gonna need, you're gonna just have to measure it out for that. 
So I have one strip coming across. The other strip is going to be coming from the side. Um, so if someone has more swelling on the side of the breast, we're gonna come up and over, but then down towards the groin. You don't have to go all the way, but at least to the belly button level and below. Or someone may have swelling more on the side of the body. And so that uh, strip is gonna be from here, but then again, working its way towards the groin. Doesn't have to go all the way down there, but again, at least to the belly button level. So we're gonna have those two strips, so those can be measured out and cut. From there, what we wanna do is we wanna trim out one edge. We want the edges rounded so that they stay put longer and the ends don't peel up. And so what we'll do is kinda of trim around the corners to make the edge more rounded. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we have two edges rounded. From there, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut this strip into four equal smaller strips, leaving about one to two inches at the top. We don't wanna touch that side at all, but then we're gonna cut four equal strips from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut just right down the middle. Some strips have dotted lines on the side, this one does, so you can follow along. This one's actually cut in two or there's strips for five sections, not four. So I can't follow the line, but it still gives you some direction. So I cut down the middle. I'm gonna then cut the other two in half. Leaving that one or two inches at the end. And then last one. And then there's the four equal strips. From there, what we're gonna do is we wanna round out the other edges as well. So you can do them all separate. What I like to do is to speed them up, either do two at a time or just do all four that I just put them all equal and then I'm just cut them all at once. Okay, and so then we have our first strip and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so from there we have our two strips ready to go. So now we're gonna place it. We're gonna take the strip and I'm gonna go across first. It doesn't truly matter which one you wanna do first. And what you wanna do is the anchor side, so the side with the one to two inch area, that needs to go towards the healthy armpit or the area that you're trying to move the fluid towards. So I like to do it near the armpit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to rip off that back paper, okay, and then you can peel back that little piece. And then again, directly to the skin for you, but we're gonna go near the armpit. I'm not gonna go in the armpit, I'm gonna go near it. And then you're going to rub that down. You want to rub it because the warmth will actually activate the adhesive so it can stick better. So that's in place from there. Then we're gonna start with the strips. I'm gonna start with the bottom one. Sometimes it's easier to start with the top so they don't get in the way. But I think visually it's almost easier to show you with the bottom. So we're gonna take one strip and peel back the paper, but leave about an inch or two at the end. When we pull the strips, we don't want a strong tension, but we just want an ever so slight tension with this. If we're using kinesiology tape for muscles, a lot of times they'll give a little more tension. When it comes to the swelling, you're just trying to lift the skin up, so you don't need to pull really tight. If anything, that could be irritating. And if you pull too tight, the tape is just gonna come off when you move. So it's just enough tension to feel it. And then, like I said, you're going to just go over where your swelling is, and that might vary person to person. A lot of people will, have swelling lower. Some people will just have swelling over around the incision areas or where they have their scars, I should say. So just go over the area that you have swelling, starting with the bottom or the top. Have that little tension. And I'm just gonna guide to cover that area. And then the end, you're gonna pull up the tape or the paper, no tension on the end, and just lay that down without any tension. You'll go back and kind of rub that in and then we'll do the same thing with the next one. Give a little inch or two at the end without tension. So pulling, tension. 
and then no tension at the end. Do the third. And then one more. And then you lay that down. So once you're done with that, you can go back and kind of rub that all in just to make sure that you get all the adhesives warmed up. If someone, this is for someone who has breast and chest swelling. If most of their swelling is actually in their arm or they're just trying to get their lymphatics for this area going, this test or these strips should actually go straight across towards the other armpit. However, if we're talking about breast swelling, we really want to cover that breast and kind of get the fluid moving across. So that is why I went down a little bit, but why you may see other pictures or places online where they have it go straight across. That's the difference. So getting coverage wherever you need it. Then we're going to go to the second one. This is going to be more on the side. So same thing. I'm going to rip the paper back from the anchor end. And then we're gonna place it down. So it should be at least to the level of the belly button or just past it. You may have a longer strip that goes lower. You wanna make sure that you get enough coverage to come up over the breast, but you kinda of wanna put it on the side of your body. Okay, and we'll rub that in. And then same thing. So we're going to pull back the first strip, leave an inch or two at the end, a little bit of tension and coverage from there. So these strips are a little bit long. I could have gotten a little bit lower. I probably want to cut it off right there. But that's okay. You can pull down the shirt a little bit. Same thing, a little bit of tension. And then I probably actually would just cut that off, but I'll play that down. And then the last one will go more on the side. And then I'd probably have it end right about there or trim it if I had too much, but I'll just put it down for here. So then you go back and kind of rub that in. So again, that side one I could have had a little bit lower or I would just trim those top pieces so they weren't so long, but that's the idea. You put it on the side of the body, have them come up over the side. Now, if you have more swelling just on the side, you could have a shorter one that just goes straight here, just below the armpit or even into the back, just depending on where you need it the most or what area you're trying to reduce the swelling. This is how we place the kinesio tape for someone who has breast or chest swelling if they've had lymph nodes removed or they have a dysfunction in this area and we're trying to get the fluid to other areas. This can stay on for three to seven days um, as long as there's no irritation or skin breakdown. And again, you're thinking about all the things we talked about before, not over fragile skin, skin that's still healing, overactive cancer treatment, anything like that. This can get wet, it is waterproof. However, um, it's best if you bathe or shower to pat dry um, to avoid it from coming up too soon. So next I'm gonna show how to apply uh, kinesiology tape to breast or chest swelling. If someone has not had lymph nodes removed from an area, have a healthy lymphatic system, have not had cancer surgery or radiation, that kind of thing. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have just one strip, maybe two, depending on the size of the chest. And we're going to measure from the inner, bottom inner, and then towards this um, armpit area. And so I don't go directly into the armpit. I just kind of go right out to the side or even right below whatever someone may need. So we're gonna measure from that bottom corner all the way there. These tape pieces do not have a lot of tension on them when we're doing it for swelling. So you measure your measurements are pretty equal to the length that you need. From there, we're gonna trim out one side. We wanna make sure that we get rid of the sharp corners so it stays put longer. Okay, I'm gonna trim that just a little bit better. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is cut this into four equal strips, leaving about one to two inches at the top. And so I'm gonna cut one strip right down the middle. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna cut each of those sides one more time in half to give me the four equal strips. And then one more. Okay, I'm leaving that little bit at the end. From there, we're gonna trim the edges. So we're gonna just round out each edge. I just like to stack them on top of each other and cut it once. You can do them all separately. That is just fine as well. And then those areas and those ends are rounded. And so then we have our strip. And so what we're gonna do, we want the fluid in the breast and chest to move towards the lymph nodes. So everything in this part of the body tends to go to the lymph nodes in that armpit. We, like I showed previously, if someone's had an affected area, we wouldn't go this way, but if it's healthy, this is naturally where it wants to go. So we're going to cut, or excuse me, rip off the tape on the end, that anchor piece, and pull that back. So we have our anchor. We want this to be towards the area we're trying to get the fluid moving towards. We're trying to move it towards the armpit, and so we're gonna put this right near that. So I'm gonna go not in the armpit, I'm gonna go right outside the armpit. And again, you want this directly on the skin, and you wanna rub that in because the warmth will activate the adhesive to help the tape stick and stay longer. From there, we're gonna take our strips and we're gonna go directly over the area that is swollen. For a lot of people who are doing, um, or they are breastfeeding or trying to use it for that, you wanna go around the nipple area, the areola area, so that you're not irritating it, but other than that, you're going directly around and over it. So we're gonna do one strip at a time. So we're gonna peel back the paper to one strip. You wanna leave about an inch or so at the end. And from there, we're gonna place it down. You don't wanna put a ton of tension on it. You want just a subtle tension enough that it will give a little pull, but you don't want a lot when you're using it for swelling reduction. So a little bit of tension, and then you're just guiding it to an area that you feel needs it or is swollen. So I'm gonna kind of do two on this side and two on this side. So it's just ever so slight tension, and I'm just kind of guiding it down. And then that last little bit, we don't want tension on, so I'm just gonna pull that away, and I'm just gonna push that down without any tension on it. Next one, pull it all the way back, leave that inch or two, just slight little bit of tension, and then place that down at the end without tension. Third one, peel back, slight tension, and then leave it down without tension. And then last one. A lot of people tend to hold swelling on the outer side, so I'm gonna come around and then leave that last little bit without tension. From there, you wanna go through and you wanna just rub the whole thing down to really activate the adhesive, but that is a really basic general way to place kinesiology tape for a breast or chest that is swollen with an, to an area that is healthy without any lymphatic dysfunction. Now, some individuals will also place another piece, so they have already cut a strip here. They'll also put a, one down below and have a come across. And so if we were to do that, I pulled back the one to two inch anchor. We place that below, kind of the inner part. And then same concept. So peeling back and then kind of guiding that, leaving it down. Second one. And then third and fourth will kind of go lower. Okay, you're just directly around the areas that you need it. And then the last one. Got on there. So that's another option if someone wants more coverage of the kinesiology tape. So generally kind of moving towards the upper armpit and the lower armpit, all guiding the same area, but just to give you more coverage as you'd like. 
Kinesiology tape can stay on for about three to seven days. Um, some may fall off sooner, especially if you didn't remove all the lotions and oils first, um, but they are safe to hold or stay on for longer as long as you watch your skin for any irritation or allergic reactions. If you are showering or bathing, this is waterproof. However, you want to try to pat dry um, versus rubbing dry or rubbing vigorously for bathing to avoid from the tape coming up and that'll help the tape last longer as well. So those are the ways that we apply kinesiology tape for breast and chest swelling. Again, make sure that you follow the safety precautions and contraindications before starting and work with a certified lymphedema therapist in your area for more personalized treatment and guidance. I hope you all found this video helpful. If you're looking for kinesiology tape for other parts of the body, I have other videos on my channel that you can check out. But other than that, we will see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.